Welcome back everyone, Tina here and in this video today I'm going to show you how you can create subscription right from the contacts details page. Let's say you're selling high ticket and you're in the middle of a sales call and the prospect is not going to buy. What you can do at the end of the call is either reschedule and have another chat at another time or you downsell them into a subscription into a lower tier product which helps them to get to know you better, your teaching style, if you're a coach, for example, or even the experience on how it would be to work with you. So while you're on the call with the prospect, you want to have the contact details page open anyway to take notes. And from there, directly, you can add the subscription and or also send an invoice. Let me show you how you can do this. So first navigate to contacts on the left. Select your contact in question, then navigate to payments in the top right. Then a new drop down menu will pop up. Click that and hit create invoice or hit create subscription. Let's create invoice right now. And here you can see that the invoice will be pre populated with the contact details from the contact cart. And from here, as usual, you just add your item here, select the product, hit save. The product will show up right here and then you would hit save or send it top right corner. Now let's go back one step. Let's click the top down menu again. Let's hit create subscription. For example, here you can select the add bill start date. Again, you add the item. What is the item? You can change the price, the quantity. You can add a coupon if you have one to for just tracking purposes in case you had a campaign going. And here you can select, would you like to charge the customer from the saved cards? If they are already pre-existing customer, then the system has their card details stored. Or if you would like to add a new card, you can always ask the customer on the phone, hey, would you like to use the card ending 7639 or would you like to add a new card, for example. Then down here under additional options, you can also move it from live mode to test mode in case you wanted to test it first. And then make sure later when you have tested everything that you switch it back to live mode. And then let's go ahead and hit schedule. And the subscription has been successfully created. All right, once we've created that subscription, click on payments on the left, hit subscriptions at the top, then click the three dots and click on view subscription. And here you can see all the details from that created subscription. Going back to contacts real quick, select your contact, click on payments again, click the drop down menu, and here you can also immediately charge right now because the system has the card on fire or add another card on file through this quick action too. Then here on the right, you can also see all the transactions that happened with this customer. You can here now see all the subscriptions listed. You can see the invoices sent and you can also quickly access them by clicking those arrows right here. All right, this is how you can create subscriptions and send invoices directly from the contacts page. I hope you like this new feature and I will see you in the next video.